Fish 911 here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to build a block update detector, also known as a BUD switch. So essentially what a BUD switch does is it detects block updates such as the placing and the breaking of blocks. So let's get straight into it and start building the BUD switch. You will want to start by placing now a sticky piston, followed by a block of redstone, and a redstone repeater, and a block, and a redstone torch from top of the block, and a sticky piston right there, and a block of redstone in front of it. And there you have it, the block update detector is completed. And you want to cap you can capture the redstone signal from this device by placing redstone in front of the machine at this spot. And when a block is placed or destroyed, the machine will detect it and send a pulse down this line. So let me show you what this machine is capable of doing. So I have a setup here that is going to tell me what state the furnace is in, either on uh, on mode or the off mode. So let's start smelting some cobblestone. And as you can see, the lantern's on, which reflects the furnace state, which is also on. So let's give this furnace some time to be done smelting. So the flame will be out right about now and the lantern's off. So as you can see, it works perfectly and there are many, many, many other applications of the block update detector such as for a sewer fish farm and many many more so that's about it uh, anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do be sure to leave a like and subscribe thanks so much for watching